What's up my loves? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to switch it up. I'm gonna take you through a typical day with me at the gym and today we are hitting arms and back. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So for the first exercise, we're going to hit standing shoulder press. Now this is a 45 pound bar. I recommend that you guys use a weight that is comfortable for you, but this typically targets your shoulders and your core and you want to bring the barbell all the way down to your chest as you see me doing here. We're going to overhead press, we're going to keep our core tight and we are simply going to focus on our breathing. And I love this particular workout because again, who doesn't want a strong upper body, especially as a woman, it is always important that we work our arms and our shoulders. This channel has never really been about, nor will it ever be about only isolating one body part. We work more than just our legs and our glutes. So ladies, do not be afraid to hit those weights and to strengthen those arms up in the gym. It is definitely important just for overall strength and health. So definitely add these to your next arm day if you have not tried these already. Now moving on, we are going into dumbbell rows at an incline. Now this is perfect for targeting your biceps and your back. When you pull up, you want to make sure that you are intentionally squeezing your shoulder blades together with everything in working out in general, you guys want to make sure that you are involving that mind to muscle connection, that you're being intentional with your reps and your movements. Now moving on to these bad boys, this is something you don't typically see a lot of women doing in the gym, simply because a lot of women are afraid of bulking up or quote unquote looking like a man, but ladies, it is important to work your chest. So these are incline dumbbell chest press, which target your chest, shoulders, and a little bit of your tries. It's, of course, the whole point of this video is, I cannot reiterate it enough, important to make sure you are working out every single body part and including your upper body into your workout routine on a daily or weekly basis. So I definitely recommend trying these out. You can start with a pair of 10 pound dumbbells and work your way up according to how you feel and finding a weight that's comfortable for you. All right, so we're gonna get into a little more lat work here. Now, these are such a goodie. They hurt so, 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 so bad. Now, with this, you wanna make sure you're keeping your back flat. Sorry, flat. <laughs> and you wanna make sure you are pulling down. And as you see, I'm squeezing my back and my shoulder blades together. Again, you wanna be intentional with your movements, involving that mind to muscle connection, and just really trying to be and, you know, stay focused on the muscle that you are working. So, if you have not tried these already, these are basically one of like the top 10 exercises I recommend for a killer back day. Definitely try these out, find a weight that's comfortable for you. I am at 20 to 25 pounds, but if you are new to this, I recommend starting at around 15 pounds. You can even lower down to 10 if that feels better for you. Okay, so last but not least, we are now going into single arm cable rows. Now these, I like to go lighter with this only because I like to burn out and kind of do more reps and focus on that burn instead of really like a heavy weight. As you see here, when I pull back again, I'm squeezing that shoulder blade, involving that mind to muscle connection and just really trying to focus and target those lats and that bra fat, that stubborn bra fat that we all desperately want to get rid of. So. Definitely recommend these if that is your goal. If you are one that is trying to lose back fat or trying to uh, slim down, those are perfect for you. But all right, you guys, that basically sums up my arm and back day. Thank you for joining me on my first ever upper body day mini vlog. And let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more of this. I can easily vlog my gym workouts for you. So yeah, I hope this helps and I look forward to hearing from you guys about you using these into your next workout. So I'll see you in the next video.